Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 39th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about bitwise operators in Perl. So I've got a script here that's called bitwise underscore operators and in this script on line number 3 I have created a variable x which has a value 90 and then on line number 4 I have created a variable y which has a value 75 and uh, these numbers are in decimal form and uh, if suppose you want to see the corresponding binary representation of these two numbers then uh, you would have to use the print f statement instead of using the print statement and you would have to put the format specifier percent %b so I have got a print f statement on line number 6 uh, this is first going to display the text x is a colon a space and then it's going to show me the binary form of the value that's stored in variable x because I put the percent %b format specifier here and after putting the uh, you know closing double quotation for this st string I put a comma and then I put dollar $x here so you know basically dollar $x is going to be passed to the percent %b format specifier its uh, corresponding binary form would be obtained and displayed on screen at this position similarly I have a printf statement uh, on line number 7 to see the binary representation of 75 that's the value that's stored in the variable y and uh, in Perl you can perform a bunch of uh, bitwise operations like bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise uh, exclusive or as well as uh, one's complement or you know complement as it is uh, more popularly known. Uh, so to perform the bitwise and operation you use the ampersand symbol once uh, between the two variables and uh, on line number 9 I have a statement that performs the bitwise and between x and y and it stores uh, the result in the variable and underscore op and on line number 10 I have a printf statement to see the uh, value that's been stored in and underscore op and of course we are going to see the binary representation of the output because we want to actually perform the and operation uh, you know on the output that we get on line 6 and 7 to see if we have got a correct value for and underscore op here on line number 10 and uh, then to perform the uh, bitwise or operation you use the pipe symbol once uh, between the two variables and I'm storing that output in or underscore op and I have a printf statement on line number 13 to see the binary form of uh, the value stored in this variable then to perform exclusive or you use the hat symbol which uh, you would get by shifting up on key 6 on uh, most keyboards and uh, then I have a printf statement on line 16 to see the binary form of the value stored in the variable xor underscore op and then finally on line number 18 I am calculating the ones complement of uh, the value stored in the variable x by putting a tilde or uh, the wave operator you know just before uh, the variable name x uh, and of course you have to put a dollar symbol there because it's a scalar variable and then I have a printf statement on line number 19 to see the binary form of what's been stored in uh, the variable comp right so let me execute the script and show you the output I'll uh, press F5 on my keyboard and we see that this is x 1011010 and then y is 1001011 and in bitwise and the and of 0 and 1 is 0 of uh, 1 and 0 is also 0 of 0 and 0 it's 0 and of 1 and 1 it's 1 and you know these operations are performed bitwise so you could uh, do the math here and then or of 0 and 1 is 1 of 1 and 0 is 1 of 0 and 0 is 0 and of 1 and 1 is 1 and then exclusive or basically gives you one where the bits are different and it would give you zero otherwise and then ones complement is just you know change the ones to zeros and zeros to ones I reckon this these would be 32 uh, because this is a 32 bit Perl uh, interpreter uh, I haven't counted the number of digits uh, basically but uh, you know all these ones are because when you store x in memory you store a bunch of uh, leading zeros with the number because you know you have 32 bit space in the register so you would uh, want to utilize all of it and you know store zeros if uh, you do not have any other uh, bit to store and um, 
when you would perform ones complement on that all the zeros would be converted to ones and that's why we see a bunch of leading ones here so that's it about bitwise operators i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care